Dune Amali is a 2024 game which is running on the Unreal Engine 4. And these are the minimum system requirements of this game. So let's see how much performance we can achieve on this game after making some simple graphical tweaks. Let's get started. First, I'm going to run this game using my integrated graphics. First, I've set the screen resolution to 720p, which is the lowest option the game allows. And I've chosen the low preset in the graphics settings. Now let's see how the game performs with these settings. Well, the game is still playable at these settings, but we always aim to achieve even more performance. So now let's quit the game and see what we can do to improve its performance. The configuration file of this game is located in your hidden app data folder, under local, then in the Zuno Mali folder, saved, config, and finally, windows. Now you need to open the game user settings file with notepad. First, we're going to make some changes to the resolution quality key. This key controls the resolution scaling of the game. Lowering its value will give you higher FPS, but you'll have to deal with reduced visual quality, so I'm going to put 40 here. Next, these two keys here, they control the screen resolution of the game. Well, the game only allows you to lower the resolution to 1280 by 720 from the in-game graphics settings. But you can bypass this restriction and set any custom resolution you want by entering the preferred resolution width and height here, so I'm going with 800 by 600. Once you've made these changes, save the file and be sure to set the file's attributes to read only. Now let's see the result. As you can clearly see, I've gained more FPS, but don't go anywhere yet. I have something else to show you. For further tweaking, you'll need to open the engine file located in the same configuration folder. Once you've opened the file, simply paste these commands. You can easily download the config files from the video description. A key point to remember, these commands. Here they control the level of detail in the game, and I've modified the values which gives you potato graphics in the game, but if you don't want the game to look that bad, you can simply remove some of these variables. After making these adjustments, save the file, and again set it to read only. Let's test the game one more time. As you can see, the game is now even more playable, and when I'm not recording, I get even better FPS. So guys, that's it for today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your low-spec friends so they can also enjoy playing Zuna Mali on their low-end machines as well. And I'll see you all again in the next video, so until then, take care, and bye!